Greetings from Cybertron. This is Soundcheck here with a review of the Transformers Tight. Nope, nope. Shut up, you. Greetings from Cybertron. This is Soundcheck here with a review of the Transformers Cybertron Ultra Class Menasaur with heavy load. Uh, so these were these two, uh, they come together in a set. And they were pretty much my first purchase at TFCon this year. Um, I think I paid a little more than I should have for these two, but they're still nice. Um, still very nice. I'm glad I got another Minicon. And Metasaur, well, he just looks a lot better in robot mode. Let's say that. Um, before we get on to Metasaur himself, let's take a quick look at Heavy Load. Heavy Load's a nice little um, dump truck with this huge plow going on in the front. Um, the plow itself's got that. I'm not even sure what to call that color. Is that like a bronzish, silverish? I'm not even sure what you'd call that color. Kind of, kind of got like a silver with some gold bronze tinge. Anyway, he's got this like mustard yellow going on there. He's got some black wheels. He's got that like bluish greenish, dark the dark bluish greenish kind of thing going on there, and black for all of that back there. He's got a tiny mini minicon symbol right there. And he's got a Minicon port right there, which has a bunch of different places to plug onto Minasaur. He's got two ports on each of these back sections that become his robot mode legs, and one on each of, of what will become the arms. I don't even know what to say they are in the vehicle mode. They're just the arms. Um, and if you plug him into this arm, uh, it activates a gimmick where you where these blue, these translucent blue pieces come out. Sorry if you didn't see that, I'll reset that. Uh, where, the, where you just slide him forward and you, you, don't, you don't knock the plow off of him. Uh, <laughs> and those translucent blue pieces come out and then this drill comes forward and you can slide it back and forward and it'll move and rotate like so. Uh, there's another thing you can do with him. You can move the plow all the way up into this position, and you got you kind of like gotta move things out of the way a little bit. But uh, if you come up here and split that that front section of Menasaur, um, it's gonna be very hard to see, but there, but you can see right there. There's a groove going on there, and there's this kind of a groove going on on the side of the dump truck bit. And if you can get it lined up properly, which is tricky, which is very tricky, actually. Hold on. Um, there, I think that's good enough. Um, basically, what's going to happen is you're going to have this this plow section. Hold on, that's not good enough. Um, there, that's good enough. You'll have this um, extra large plow section if, like, the rest of the dinosaur doesn't fall apart. If it's a thing you can do, it looks all right once you get it in. It's a little weird to get it in, um, but I'm not entirely certain what purpose it serves. And also. Of note, there are tiny wheels under here that you can like angle so like they're actually rolling straight as between if it's a between if it's closed up here or if it's straight. So um, yeah, well, and this this leg also fell apart. Hold on. Okay, yeah, there you go. You got that combo mode going on there, and you can pull all that apart. Just collapse that all together. Re reconnect all the bits of Metasaur that have fallen apart. I'll stuff the gimmick for now. Yeah. Okay. Now back to Heavy Load himself. Um, articulation. He's got that bulldozer thing. He rolls on all four wheels. And to transform him, um, you just fold the arms out to the sides like so. Fold the hips and legs down like so. Reattach that, that uh, plow assembly that should not be falling off. Orient 
Okay, you don't want to stay on. Hold on a second. And then you fold, you pull, move the arms down like so, and then you fold the head out like that, and boom, you got heavy load as soon as his plow reattaches in robot mode. And he's a beefy little fellow with like long going arms. He's beef. Um, no articulation at the head except a little bit of looking up. Um, if you actually see the head, since you haven't seen it yet, it's got a uh, crest. He's got a face. It's actually kind of like I, like current. Um, Robots in disguise, sound wave kind of a face going on there, if you think about it. And then you just got the yellow, you got the blue, you got a little bit of silver that comes out. You got those arms, and then you just got the black arms going on. And speaking of the arms, the arms are able to rotate full 360 because they're on ball joints. They get a little bit of swivel. Um, there's a hinge right there that allows them to go up like so. And there is a ball joint at the elbow that allows them to bend 90 degrees and also able to swivel there. Um, I guess you got... I guess if you want to count that as an app crunch, you got an app crunch on this minicon. Uh, but um, there's nothing at the waist, but his legs are able to bend that far forward and that far back, and he doesn't have knees or feet. And that's all there is to say on heavy load. Um, so I'm going to transform him, and this plow is going to stay on. It's just a friction joint. It should it should stay it should stay in places and things and stuff. Oh yeah, and then those tabs right there on his knees uh, go into the bed up there. So that's how all of that holds together since those like don't actually tap into anything. Okay, so that's heavy load. So now, off to Minasaur, who is a drill thing. Giant planet transform, the planet transforms from the giant planet, which he is one of, were giant uh, construction vehicles, and his was certainly the most fantastical. Um, <laughs> his predominant color scheme is in like that dark, bluish kind of color that that um that yeah that heavy load shares yeah it's a bit more bluish than bluish greenish um, but it's a darkish kind of bluish kind of color and there's a light blue go highlights going on there along with some yellow kind of things translucent blue translucent blue kind of yellow mustard yellow stuff black light blue you got this kind of cream color going on in the plow section you got some bl textured black stuff going up here a little bit of red, more translucent blue. Don't know what that's supposed to be, but uh, I I would think it's a port. Hold on. Actually, while it's here, it looks like it could be like a Dying Master peg, so um, no, nah, it does not fit. Fortunately, that does not fit Titan Masters, so uh, sorry to disappoint. I have absolutely no idea what that's supposed to serve, if anything, or if it's just there for like decoration, um, since this is a very weird toy. Um, come to the back, you got some black, you got some of that blue, you got black, you got this cream kind of color, you got a little bit of blue going on, you got black on all of those treads going on there. That's that's pretty much all there is to him because, it, and then there's his torso and his face. Yeah. Um, he's got a lot of rolling bits. He's got two wheels underneath there. That, sorry, you're not seeing. He's got two wheels underneath there. Let's raise the camera up. Um, two wheels right there, that wheel right there, this wheel right here, which actually turns the drill, which is completely out of focus right now. So, yeah, if you roll him, you will get that to work. Let's see if I can get, yeah. You can get, I can get it to work a little bit on the surface. Um, then you got two wheels on each of these back treads right there. So he's got a lot of wheels going on. Um, yeah. Um, so he does roll. He does drill things. Um, he for accessories. He, he heavy loads his main accessory, and he also comes with a cyber planet key, uh, a giant planet cyber key, which unfortunately I did did not come with him uh, when I bought him. But I don't particularly care since like all the cyber planet, planet cyber planet keys interact with each other. But he comes with a giant planet cyber key, which is purple with a silver border. Uh, features a key uh, which features like a gear symbol for it and has the key code of US4R, which if you plugged into the old Hasbro website, um, would have given you extra information on Menasaur. Um, but you can plug in, uh, any cyber key into this port right here. And as you can see right there, it would play lights and sounds, but unfortunately mine does not have batteries in it that work. So I cannot show 
that gave me a call. Unfortunate. Um, but the drill, but you also have this um, wheel up here to have the drill work. Um, so that's all there is to say on the vehicle mode. So it's time for some size comparisons. Here they are with Legends Class Bumblebee. Um, that's going to be fun to scale, and then you can see how large they are next to Bumblebee. And I'll just quickly get reload right here. Very small. Deluxe Class Chromdo. Next to Heavy Load. Next to Minasaur. Voyager Class Megatron. Heavy Load. Menasaur and Leader Class Six Shot uh, next to Menasaur, which is significantly longer, and next to Heavy Load. I never mentioned it before, but uh, you may not have heard the Ultra Class here on this channel before because it's a size class that no longer properly exists and dying out around the time of the first movie but was a size class between Voyagers and Leader class figures to, to help you give a little bit of a comparison. Though we'll see in a bit uh, how big Manasaur actually is compared to modern day leaders. Um, so uh, let's roll right along to the robot mode and take a look at that. And uh, to start, uh, we're gonna actually go into his work mode because they had two robot modes. So let's take a look at his work mode first. Firstly, you're gonna unpeg, untab, um, that bit right there from that bit there. And then you're gonna just kind of leave it at that kind of an angle. Do the same on the other side. Kind of leave it at that kind of an angle. Uh, come down, rotate the arms, rotate the arms, fold these pieces back. And there you got Venusaur in his work mode, which is supposed to be a shorter squatter type of work mode and since we're here I'm not going to go over articulation at this point because it's just silly but I'm going to take a brief pause uh, bring heavy load out uh, for the time being and I will show off some uh, robot mode size comparisons like I said once I get heavy load in robot mode just because just to show off like how big this this work mode is compared to current toys here they are with legends class bumblebee deluxe class chrome dome sorry how heavy load deluxe class chrome dome voyager class megatron and Minasaur is just shorter than Voyager class Megatron in this work mode, but he'll get taller very quickly. And Leader class Six Shot. Is Six Shot in view? Yes, he is. Okay. All right, and now with that pit stop, let's uh, finish getting him into his proper robot mode. And there's honestly not a whole lot left to do. I'm just gonna move those out of the way. And then you're gonna take these what will be like crotch pieces, fold them down on those hinges. They will tab together using that tap and slot, tap and slot, we'll tap together, straighten out the legs, rotate the legs, straighten out the leg, rotate the leg, and there you have Menasaur in his robot mode. And I will say, those crotch that the, that that crotch does not want to stay together for me. So be warned of that. Also just trying to just stand. Room, whatever. Okay, that's what we're that's what we're working with today. Um, yeah, that's annoying uh, that the crotch won't stay together, but uh, the rest of the robot mode looks pretty nice. Now let's take a closer look on that face right there. He's got a very interesting looking face. Uh, he's got predominantly yellow, uh, mustard yellow head 
on that like dark blue with a little bit of orange and some very nice light piping going on in those eyes and that forehead crest which is very very neat and very different and you got a nice deceptive symbol on that chest right there some nice silver going on a bit of yellow you've got this yellow mustard yellow gun that articulates you got a little bit of red there you got what looks like a cockpit going on you got it sorry you got a bit of a cockpit going on there even though um this is underneath them and this is all like fake chest kibble and whatnot so i don't know what's up with that a little more yet mustard yellow a little bit of silver more black you see some red some mustard yellow some mustard yellow you see things you saw in the other mode the arms are just straight up what you saw in the other mode and then you got like these things going on here and boy i should have dusted that before i started this review huh oh well oh well um yeah, and then you got Menace's, Menasaur's back right there. And all the same things and interactions are able to happen. Though the Minicon port's a little hard to work with since, um, as I lower the legs, uh, you can see that the mini port, Minicon ports are in the middle there. I'd show you the cyber key access, um, but that doesn't work. But I will quickly show off. Um, the drill funk, the, the Minicon compatible drill gimmick in a uh, second as soon as I am done failing to transform heavy load. I should have done that on camera so you could all but point and laugh at me. Um, and then you do that and you stop falling off. I do not know why that keeps falling off. And then you got that going on, I guess. I'll just um, return all of that to its default position. But uh, for articulation, this head can r rotate. Feels like it should be able to rotate a full 360, though it is very tight, especially in like that top corner there. Um, these pieces, I guess you can angle however you want, though there's not like really a whole place to do so. Um, his shoulders. If you get stuff out of the way, we're able to rotate a full 360 on a nice ratchet. His arms are able to bend that fall all the way around on that ratchet there. Um, they can go, yeah, they can go all the way. Um, there is a swivel, a ratcheted swivel right there for the elbow, at the elbow. And then his arms are able to bend at a 90 degree angle, again, on a nice ratchet. Um, these just, just don't stay together, so I guess you got extra, I don't know what you call that kind of articulation. But um, his knees, uh, his hips are able to bend that far forward, that far back on those ratchets. Um, very soft sounding ratchets that are able to allow his legs to go that far out. And there is a thigh swivel right there. We've got greater than 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet are able to pivot forward and back though. Sorry, didn't see any of that. They're able to pivot back and forth, but how far they're able to pivot back is not that much. So, uh, yeah, I already talked about the interactions with accessories and stuff. Oh, and uh, he's got, sorry. I don't even know what to call that. You call, what would you call that? Wrist articulation? I guess that's his wrist, comparatively. So he's got a 360 wrist articulation, if you, you want. And he's got it on both sides, I guess. OK, whatever. And uh, then now uh, I'll get heavy load back into robot mode. And then we'll do another round of size comparisons. Yay, the plow didn't fall off this time. And now he won't stand. G d d stop, please, 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 no, no, okay. Okay, there you go. All right, now for some size comparisons. Here they are with Legends class Bumblebee. And Bumblebee comes up to Menasaur's knee right there. Deluxe class Chrome Dome who comes up to Menasaur's waist. Voyager class 
Megatron, who comes up to a bit, uh, almost to the top of Metasaur's chest. And Leader Class Six Shot, who uh, Metasaur's head almost, almost, uh, like comes up to like halfway up on Six Shot's head, and he, he's pretty large. This is almost, this is basically what a leader is nowadays. This is an ultra class figure, not a leader class figure. And that's crazy to think about. And then here, I just lost six shot off the side of the table. And here, our Manistore and Heavy Load with Soundwave and a Wheeljack, the channel's mascots. Yoink. Uh, before we go on, I did forget, I did forget a feature. Um, you can store Heavy Load in his robot mode in Manistore's robot mode because you can flip this panel down and you just plop heavy load into that gap right there. And you close that cockpit up and boom, you got, you got storage. You got storage for heavy load. And then you can just pull them right out of there. Just a minor thing. It's neat. Um, so, uh, final thoughts. On Menasaur and Heavy Load. Heavy Load's a nice minicon. Heavy Load's a pretty neat minicon. Uh, I don't like his plow popping off, but that's just a fact of the joint and not the negative against him. So he still passes in my book. Menasaur, uh, he looks nice in robot mode. His alternate mode is very weird. And there's also like a lot of design choices on him that don't make sense like all of this I don't understand what any of that's for and I don't know why like this cockpit chest needs to be there like I get that like heavy load sits inside Venusaur but like I don't know why like they didn't incorporate that more into like the actual vehicle mode because you can't there's no way to get that scene in the vehicle mode that just lays flat down and I I don't know um, he looks good he's neat um, in hindsight, I probably did pay a little too much for him, but if you do find one at a nice price and you're interested in it, I'd say go get him. Go get him if you want. Um, but that's all I have to say on Menasaur and Heavy Load. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at SoundJack426. Also, please consider donating on my Patreon page to help support the channel. All the links will be in the description below. Thanks for tuning in. This is SoundJack signing off.